Welcome to the Smallscape on Saturday. Today's video is a requested video. A number of people have requested to see some of my tanks that I most recently set up, uh, namely the ones with light colored sand, and kind of let you know how they're doing. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Well, let's start off with the most recent of the three scapes that I've done. This is the 14 gallon bow front that I just love. This is the tank that we got from Agno Aquatics in Ohio, and it's it's looking great. The hydrocodal is growing in great. All the plants are doing well. I did have a little bit of green hair algae wanting to pop up, and uh, so I did add a little bit of hornwort, which is kind of hanging out at the top, and the chili rasboras just love hanging out up there too, so that works great. But the sand is looking great. It is light colored. There is uh, a, a little bit of stuff that pops up here and there, but it's really easily vacuumed up and it just looks great. Now this is my 11 gallon bookshelf tank and this was one of the first ones that I set up with very light colored sand. This is close to white and it's actually working out really great. The corkscrew valve in the back is actually growing out very nicely. It's coming up towards the front. It seems to be very happy in this tank and even the rotala in the back is doing well. The light colored sand, yes, it's it's a little bit more of a, a maintenance, I suppose. Uh, but, and you can see it along the front, you know, some of the detritus, but it's actually working out just fine. The fish in here are so beautiful. I love my candy cane tetras. They have gotten a little bit more color than when I set them up. And if you notice, Oreo also has a little bit more red. Now these candy cane tetras have added a little bit more color since you probably saw them last and they've gotten a little bit bigger but it's such a peaceful tank to watch and I just love creating an islandscape. Do I wish that I didn't have those two sponge filters? Yes, at some point I do like to, I would like to change out the filters but it's working out really great. The sand does not bother me. It doesn't seem to be getting overrun and looking really badly. Uh, I just, I really love this tank and even all the plants seem to be very happy. There is a little bit of green hair algae, but it's, it's easily, um, I'm keeping it under control so far, so far so good. Now for the last tank that I'd like to update you on, this is what I call bear paw tank. It is because of that large rock that has what looks like to be a bear paw print in it and for those of you who have seen this skate before, it probably looks a little bit different to you. Why? Well, because the rock has fallen down. Uh, I did kind of shift it a little bit towards the back there because it was starting to fall. And yes, the cribs, they are making their little nest in the, bed, in the bottom there underneath the rock. And that, of course, caused the sand to shift. And you can see a lot more val up in the front that it seems way happier than even in the back. I've left a lot of it because they do like to kind of stalk under there, get, get some, some cover up in the front where they're usually hanging out. So I have kind of left it to be their tank and they all get, they get along great with the Garami, but that's Emmett. And then with the Black Neons, everybody is getting along very nicely. It is a fun tank to watch. And I did, when the Cribs came in, I knew that the scape might change a little bit or even a lot, which that's, that's what happens when you have ones that like to dig. I am very anxious to see if they do breed. That would be so much fun. Really excited to see if that happens. I will keep you updated if anything happens in this tank. So thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing the update on these beautiful tanks. I love all three of them. I love all of the inhabitants. They're just mesmerizing to watch and I, I spend a lot of time down there now appreciating the inhabitants and just the, uh, they're just such fun tanks to watch. So let me know which one's your favorite and uh, what exactly is your favorite about them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.